Hey, hey! Spring of Faith in Flotero. Okay, this is going to be a reading for the, for the element of fire. And we're going to start, start out with Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I'm going to take a Romance Angel. Um, okay. Okay, for someone, you deserve love, but you need to free yourself from the past. That's for someone. Um, you're letting the past hold you back, and you need to free yourself from that. Okay, now. Yeah, I don't want them to throw them. Okay. Aries. Leo, and then Sagittarius, okay, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and then I'm going to take a uh, Major Arcana, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Okay, and then I'm going to take three tarot for each. We start with Aries. I will do this. Okay. Well, Aries, you got the devil card first out, so. <sighs> okay. There's something toxic that you need to deal with. And then we have Sagittarius. Yeah, there's a certain way they want me to lay them out. Okay, and then we're going to take, um, I'm actually going to take an affirmation for you. That's for Aries. Aries, what are you worrying about? Um, it feels like there's something that you need to let go of, something that's toxic. Okay, Leo. Sagittarius. Okay. Angel message. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> we start with Aries. Okay, Aries, you already had some flipper here with this devil card. You know, that could be toxic behavior. It can be toxic, um... Holding on to someone toxic. But we're going to see what you get. Yeah, deception. Okay, you're dealing with someone who's toxic. You're dealing with someone um, who is wearing, it says someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. So, you know, you are dealing with someone. And you, I feel like you, your, your intuition is telling you this and you just don't know whether to believe it. Well, there's your confirmation. You know, someone is wearing uh, a false self mask. This is someone that... You could be lovers with, or you could be entering into a relationship with. You may already be in a relationship with this person. Or they're going to be trying to enter into a relationship with you. Uh, this could be, I'm going to go and tell you, this could be a soulmate connection. Uh, but it's one that will teach you a, yeah, it will, it's going to teach you a lesson if it is. Um, this um, has a toxic feel to it. And I want you to look at the face that's wearing a mask. So this person's going to paint themselves out to be something that they're not. They may be have talk. They may have toxic uh, patterns. They may have addictions, and you may not realize it. But <clears throat> see there, two of cups. Um, but if you look, there's the heart in the middle. Um, yeah, this is going to be tough for some of you. You're already in this relationship with this person. Uh, Eight of Pentacles. I'm gonna have to take another card on this. Uh, for some of you, you're already in this relationship with this person, and they, they got, it's, it's almost like they're attached to something, and it, it could be toxic behavior, it feels like it could be, for some of you, addiction of some sort. Four of Wands, you feel like you're having to do everything on your own with this person. Um, it's, it's a feeling like they only um, want what they want. Yeah, you feel like you're having to do all the work, like all the decisions, and 
you know, you want what's best, you want the Nine of Cups, but you feel like it's almost like, you know, your eyes are shut or you've got them covered, you just don't know what to do anymore. You see, there's a lot of, of uh, mystery around this. There's a lot of um, aloneness. There's a lot of, if you, you know, follow your gut, I'm telling you. You're going to follow your gut intuition on this because there could be deceptive behavior behind your back. You know, you want what you want. You feel for this person. You feel deeply. You may need to pray about this. I'm going to do your, um, see, that's why I'm, you got worry. So, you, you know, I want you to pause and write this down. You may want to write each one of these affirmations down. You can benefit from them for saying them. Okay, so pause, write this down. And now, um, I want you to speak this with me. Just repeat it after me. I am wor learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome. I am learning that worry doesn't change an outcome, and so it is. And then you have um, number four, gratitude. Being grateful, you know, and really being grateful for what you have and being grateful for this intuition. Uh, to know what you're feeling and to be able to um, really see what this is for what it is, you know. And um, you got to gratitude. Sorry about that. Um, you got a number four gratitude, and I'm going to read that to you. It says, I am grateful for everyone and everything in my life and the lessons each brings. So, you know, really being grateful for this, even if it is a lesson. And then, um, you know, Aries, I know that's a heavy reading, but, yeah. Leo, we have for you, um, your Romance Angel card is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together, so you've been calling in a soulmate. You got the full card. You know, that's about new beginnings. That's about, um, well, let's take, let's check our, let's just check our, um, okay. Two of Wands. Hmm. You got the Nine of Cups. That's Wish Fulfillment. Two of Wands. Making decisions for both of you. Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so someone, it feels like you've got this new beginning and it's just, you're trying to just flow along, you know, it, you know, you've asked for the soulmate and it's almost like uh, for some of you, this person's already in your life and for some of you, they're not. For some of you, it's almost like you're just walking wrong, along doing your thing and bam, there they are, you know, and it's like then you're looking at things for two, for you and them. You know, this person comes in your life, you know, things feel very joyful. It feels like, you know, the blessings are coming in, the cups are filled. Um, this person may come on your path and offer you something. It's something tangible. It's something you can put your hands on. And I feel like with the full card being here, you know, and you have this new beginning, you're jumping head in. It feels like you're going to jump head into this because it just feels right. It's got that feel right feeling. See, it makes you very happy. You got happiness. That is your affirmation. You may want to write this down. Pause and write it down now. You could write down each one of these affirmations for each sign. It does not matter because you'll benefit from it. Repeat after me, please. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path. I am aware that being happy means that I am on the right path, and so it is. That is beautiful. And then you got your angel card here is a number 14, fire. Yes, this is fire. Uh, fire elemental. So that's awesome. That's awesome, Leo. Um, look at that. Just beautiful card. Um, what it says is, I ignite the fire within me that connects me to the divine. So, if you have not started, you know, connecting yourself with the divine and praying, it's time to do that. You know, it's time to really connect yourself and just shine your light. Yes. 
So now, Sagittarius, what have we got for you? Okay, Sagittarius, let me lay these aside. You've got new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Oh my goodness, that's awesome. And you got the emperor. So you're sitting good. You're sitting at a good spot in your life. You know, you may be um, running a business. You may, it's, it's like you, you've got everything going for you. And um, you've got this new person that's really stirred some emotions. They've got you really thinking, you know. And then you've got the sun card. This makes you very happy. Just thinking about this person makes you so happy. And you got the Page of Swords. This is about needing to, to speak a truth, needing to say the truth, the full. Um, okay, with the full being here, this, is, this has to do with a new beginning. This has to do with taking a leap of faith. Um, you know, it's, it's almost like, are you going to take this leap of faith towards this person? This has something to do with some truth that needs to be spoken or has to be spoken. So it's, you know, this could be someone coming on your path that needs to speak a truth. And, and they're going to need to take that leap of faith towards you or either this is you. So we got um, our affirmation is envy. Okay. So you want to write that down. Pause and write this down. You may want to write down all the affirmations I have said. Uh, they will benefit you in some way. So speak this after me, please. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges. I am the same as everybody, but with different challenges, and so it is. And then your angel message is a number 31, embrace change. Ooh, change is coming. It's time to embrace it. Things are different. And it says, I move easily and com confidently. Through the changes in my life. That's beautiful. You know, embracing who you are. Embracing the change. Embracing the way things are going in your life. is awesome. So that's what I have for you, Fire Signs. Um, if you like the content that I put out, do give it a thumbs up. Do subscribe. And share out the readings. And I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Much light and love to y'all. Bye.